Hey folks, so uh, yeah, I had uh, you know, a few little things here and there. I'll mostly be probably putting those on shorts. Uh, but this was a bigger lot of stuff that came in, so I will uh, go over it. Sorry about the setup. It's uh, basically where I take photos when I list stuff on eBay. And it was the only real open space I had for all this stuff. So there's some things over there like He-Man knockoff figures and such. Um, we'll get right into it. Uh, I had a gentleman who comes into the store and has been dropping off tapes, uh, usually about 25 to 50 at a time. Um, most of it's metal. He says he's got tons and tons more. He's just looking through boxes and stuff and finding things. Uh, unfortunately, he got rid of his record collection, which was a lot of this stuff too, and I'd kill to have some of this stuff on metal, uh, some of this stuff on vinyl, so... Um, but still pretty glad to pick these up. Tapes don't carry a ton of value. I mean, there are a few that go for really big money. Um, there's some hip-hop cassettes that go for large money. There's some black metal that go for uh, some big money, too. But uh, that's not any of these. These are all pretty much just, um, you know, your, your average uh, tape. But there's a lot of metal here, a lot of um, grunge, some punk, even a few hip-hop uh, cassettes on here. Um, but I just thought you guys had fun seeing them before I put them out in the store. Um, some of these I might end up keeping myself, and that would be some of these ones here. Because um, some of these Motorhead I don't have on vinyl uh, myself or CD myself. Now, I have that one. I do not have uh, that one, which is the birthday party. Um, I don't have that Motorhead. Uh, I have that. Obviously, I have the Ace of Spades. And then uh, No Sleep at All. Uh, I don't know if I have that one or not. I think I might have it on CD, but I'll have to check. So some of those aren't going out. A little heavier stuff. King Diamond. Uh, it's a really nice cassette to have there. Some Metallica. Ride the Lightning. Load. Black Album. Uh, and the uh, Garage EP. Um, he says he has a lot more Metallica. He also says he has a lot more punk somewhere, including Black Flag, which I'm, I'm really hoping he digs out soon because I'd love to get that. I actually have a few Black Flag sets uh, in my own um, collection. One of the best ones out of him here was this uh, Venom uh, Black Metal. It's um, uh, on the Bonsai label there, and it is uh, a paper tag. Um or a paper label, I guess, as they call them. So that one's pretty cool. Uh, Canadian uh, black metal band. They're awesome. Um, Halloween. What else we got on here? Testament. Testament. Queensryche. Or more on the hair metal type things. Queensryche again. A couple of Iron Maidens. So we had Somewhere in Time. And then... Uh, no prayer for the dying. These are all originals too. I don't. I know that some cassettes have been reissued, um, but these are all the uh, the original ones. There aren't that many cassettes reissuing, but I just thought I'd state this. Black Sabbath. I actually wonder about this because I think it might be like a Mexican bootleg tape. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Um, Black Sabbath. Bloody Sabbath. Volume 4, um, I think I got, yeah, Ozzy's Diary, Bark of the Moon, the Randy Rhodes Tribute Album, um, No Rest for the Wicked, and then uh, The Eternal Idol uh, there as well. Losing track of all this stuff. These aren't really metal, but they're hard rock, so ACDC, a um, couple of copies of The Razor's Edge for some reason, Ball Breaker, um, Who Made Who, Highway to Hell, and Blow Up Your Video, Steve Vai and Joe Satriani, guitar guys, Bullet Boys, Tesla, he's freely solo, and oh man, who doesn't love Spinal Tap? That's just awesome. Um, and there is uh, Ministry, which one is that again? Yeah, it's the one I can never pronounce, but... Um, so that was kind of unusual, stood out in this uh, this group of sort of metal stuff. Although it is pretty hard. Pantera's Vulgar Display. Megadeth's Rest in Peace. Slayer. Now he says he has lots more Slayer, so, but he just doesn't know where it is. Um, Danzig, How the Gods Kill. That's the one with a really awesome Geiger art on there. Um, and then 
Yeah, there's another Danzig there. Uh, Guns N' Roses Appetite. Uh, Use Your Illusion 1 and 2. The Grim Reaper. Judas Priest. Judas Priest. Judas Priest. <clears throat> Anthrax. The Trick or Treat soundtrack, which I've never actually seen this movie, but man, I kind of really want to now. A couple of hip hop, West Side Connection, Beastie Boys, Ill Communication, License to Ill. Um, some more kind of hard rock, more than heavy metal, Twisted Sisters, Stay Hungry, some Kula Drawers, some hair metal there from Rat, some Ugly Kid Joe, I don't even know where to put that. Um, suicidal Tendencies, awesome. A couple of Wasp. And the other wasp there. Some Faith No More. Two of them there. Faster Pussycat. Great White. For some reason, two copies of Great White. Tora Tora, which I don't really know. I've never heard of them. So, um, really awesome Hamilton, Ontario punk band, Teenage Head. Um, I have pretty much all the records. I don't own any Teenage Head and cassettes, so I might end up keeping that one myself. Skid Row. Um, Motley Crue, Theater of Pain, Dr. Feelgood, Girls, 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 um, Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar, LA Guns, nice kind of Ramones comp there, Mania, uh, Rollins Band, End of Silence, I saw this tour, it was amazing, um, Rage, a couple of like classic Rocky type things, a little heavier but still not, the Zeppelin 4 and Houses of the Holy, Crocus Change of Address, I think we're getting down to the end of it here. Some Floyd, some Floyd, some Floyd, and then a few things here which really didn't uh, kind of like softer, harder rock. I don't know. Nugent, Plant, The Doors, Aerosmith, Springsteen, Max Webster, Dave Wilcox, more Max Webster, and the Monkees. Yeah, so you know, it was a pretty nice lot. Um, not the hugest set of sets but i think he's kind of got the idea now that i'm into the harder stuff because the last batch was more along the lines of the stuff you're seeing there uh some of that wasp and anthrax and things like that um so hopefully we see more of that um coming in the next little while and once uh you know depending on how many he brings in I'll, I'll probably do another video of them just because uh cassettes are kind of fun i mean Cassettes are at, basically at the same place that records were during the 19 mid 90s all the way through to the early 2000s where literally you'd go to a garage sale and they'd be like a buck a piece and less in some cases and people had switched over to CD and nobody was that interested but in terms of like physical media tapes are pretty fun um, and they picked up a lot um lately in terms of uh general interest from the public especially since stranger things did the um you know the whole 80s walkman revival thing on there um so yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed this uh if you did just if you want to like and subscribe that'd be cool if you don't whatever it's fine too just enjoy the videos as they come um Check out some of the other videos that I have. I got a lot of stuff on uh, vinyl and vintage toys and things I find at garage sales and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll leave it there. All right, bye.